so you want to know the secret of the spark machine. Um, well, this is uh, this is rigged up with a 12 volt battery. I normally use a computer power supply, but I haven't I haven't actually run this for a year, and for some reason the com the power supply doesn't want to work. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, basically, what you've got is this inside this box here. Square wave generator, um, and which I'll show you the circuit for in a moment. And what you're doing is you're driving these two car ignition coils, um, which you should be able to get. They're the old style ones. You should be able to get them from Eureka. This is just a capacitor. And a um, and resistor just to take any voltage spikes, so it doesn't come back and hurt the circuitry. Um, you you will go through components, so you when you when you buy the components for this, you'll need to buy more than just um, more than just one of each. Um, This is a circuit based around a um, triple five timer. It's just a normal, it's just a simple circuit, a s simple um, square wave circuit. The only things to note here really are, um, I've got a 100K resistor to change the timing of the pulses. And for greater range, I've got this three way switch, which just adds to this 10K timing capacitor 10, 10 nanofarad sorry either 220 nano or a 4 microfarad um, capacitor just which just increases the timing I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of what that does in a second um, but you've got to have this in here otherwise you'll Go, you'll go through these chips here like no one's business. That's running the gate of a BUZ30A or any um, MOSFET that can take about 20 amps. Has to take at least 20 amps, otherwise it's no good. I've actually got two in parallel, as you'll see here, and they do need to be on a heat sink because they will heat up. So I've got I've got them in wide and parallel, but you can use one, but two's better. I I just found that I've I have i stopped you I've stopped blowing transistors uh, the um, MOSFETs since I did that, and so the collector of the uh, MOSFET is connected to, which is this line here, is connected to the coils, and the other edge of the coil is connected to either 12 volt or 24 volt. Um, normally I just used a 12 volt, like I said, a 12 volt supply for a computer. Um, if you can connect an extra 12 volts on top of that, like with a 12 volt battery or something in, in series, uh, you'll find the sparks have a lot more power than the ones that you see here. This battery is weak as well, so you, you, you're not seeing the best sparks. But this is, um, this is basically it. Um, any questions, just let me know.
just a note is um, when you're wiring up the coils um, you're going to have to make sure they're actually wired up opposingly see this is the positive terminal of this coil um, and that is connected to the negative coil of this coil a negative terminal for this coil and so when um, a pulse comes through it, it makes it, it makes this one go negative and this one go positive um, so basically what you're going to get is like say around about positive 20,000 volts from this and around about positive 20,000 or maybe 30,000 um, from this coil so the result is that you get a difference um, across your spark gap of say 40 or 60 depending on what the actual voltage of these is I haven't measured them um, thousand volts so um, yeah you just thought you might, you'll need to know that when when wiring it up